Hello my friends of Hattery Labs, my name is Saul Montoya. Uh, we are going to do a tutorial here that is a basic example of saline intrusion modeling with uh, CWAT and Flowpipe. Okay, uh, this tutorial is um, this tutorial was uh, with the aim that um, see what is not implemented in model muse so actually if you want to to model see what in saline intrusion okay you have to do it with flowpy or with other commercial software so but in this case we we want to define and we want to make you um, to create a basic example so you can create your own okay this is actually uh, a version or like a reedition of a notebook that was on the Flowpy documentation. Okay, um, we we gave our uh, our touch to that. Okay, so here we have the basic example. Okay, this uh, you will receive this for this for folder. We strongly recommend that you we strongly recommend that you follow this on your documents okay so you will receive this folder please put it in your documents otherwise like if you put it in your documents and you're working on windows it will be much easier to it will be much easier to um, to to follow the tutorial and then you will have the output exactly or like in a similar position as we have okay Okay, great. So let's talk about the the model. We are going to have this model. This model is 100 columns, 50 layers. Okay, only one row. No, is yeah, 50 layers, 100 columns, and only one row. Yeah, only one row. There is a well here, and the this is the C. Okay, okay. Uh, what else? Okay, so we are going to create this on Flowpy. So you create, you open a Jupyter notebook, mm -hmm. and then on the Jupyter notebook, you go to Documents, and then you will find the example, the folder that we, and then on the scripts, we are going to create a new new notebook in Python. Three that will be co ops sorry and that will be called uh, tutorial one mm -hmm. okay great so now we have tutorial one So now we are going to define. I mean, you will have all the scripts on the description of the model. This is this video, okay? You can follow as well. But this video is mostly to explain you what is going on the the tutorial. So here, um, what are we going to do first? Okay, we are going to import some Python core libraries, uh, some SciPy libraries and the FlowPy libraries. We are going to work on Jupyter Notebook as you have seen. And then we are going to to utilize two options of Jupyter Notebook. Yeah. First is, mat okay, this is the Python core libraries. This is the SciPy libraries. Okay, this is what is from the SciPy library. I mean the SciPy bundle. Okay, and this is the Flowpy libraries, and then from Jupyter Notebook we are going to use Matplotlib online and IP widgets. Okay, okay, we run it. Then we create a basic Matplot object in Flowpy, um, as any other model generated in Flowpy, we have to set up the model and the working directory. We strongly recommend that you follow the working folders that we have here that we provide here because it will be easier for you to run to store and to simulate your models okay so according to this we create a model we create a model phrase and we, then we create the model op object okay so run okay and this will be our num5 okay 
Then we define the model dimension, spatial equalization, and hydraulic parameters. Okay, the model is a 2D model of 100 column, 50 layers, and one row. Okay, total dimension in X, Y, and Z is 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, and 1. And then we define the on flow pipe with the okay, so these are the model dimensions. We run it and then we create the spatial discretization, okay. And in so when you work on model mules and flow pipe, you define the surface and then for you define one the surface and then for every layer you define the model top of that layer so we have one surface and then we have 50 um, uh, mod model bottom one for every layer because we are working with 50 layers okay then we define another parameters that are some dispersion coefficient the inflow of fresh water so the inflow that will come from here yeah, as fresh water and the hydraulic conductivity that is 0 0.01 that is uh, for gray gray uh -huh. Okay, we run it. In this we in this uh, in this example we are working on meters per second. Okay. Then we define the flow package of the seawater model. In this part we are going to define the package related to the groundwater flow of the seawater model. First we define the this package that has the geometry as well as the simulation time uh, the model runs on steady conditions but the for the transport and the saline distribution is on uh, transient conditions okay great so these are the parameters for the this the this package okay that runs on that has the geometry and as well the parameters for the transient for the steady or the transit. Okay. Right. Then we define another seawater package as the bus package that is the the one that define the active, inactive, and the ones that are uh, constant heat. Okay. This con I mean seawater is works with mod flow to mod flow two thousand in and uh, Modflow 2005 also works with this constant heat on the bus package but if you go to Modflow 6 this this is missing I mean like uh, in Modflow 6 you should have a, another package like uh, like you you if you want to define a constant heat cell you have to define as a boundary condition, not only the past five. Okay. Great. So these are the where we define the box package, and then, for example, are uh, we define that here. This is a constant heat. Okay. Uh, what else? The initial heat is zero. This is the LPF package and that states that the um, hydraulic conductivity and the vertical conductivity. This is the package related to the simulation that we are running on PCG. And these are the observation um, control that will store uh, one, will save after the simulation of the stress period. Okay. Okay, then we define the flow and transport package, okay, because on our model, the model is actually filled with salt water. The model is actually filled with salt water, but uh, the this well is injecting fresh water, okay. So we define the well as a boundary condition, okay, so we run this cell. Okay, we define the, the well as a boundary condition and as well as a sink and source package. Okay, so this is the boundary condition and this is the sink and source package. Okay, uh, this is a brief review because you have, I mean, you have to, 
to read and review all of these because it's and then my strongly I receive some emails and say okay I have this problem see and my my best advice is go to the Google documentation because on the documentation actually states how it works the software and then if you understand how it works the software you can understand what you can do with that okay then we see we define the transport parameter for the CWAT and the, as well some variable for flow parameters okay so this is it okay so these are the uh, advection dispersion the 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 matrix that solves the transport and the single source package okay and the variable density flow okay right. okay and then okay we have a state that we have set up and so and then we are going to write the input i'm going to write the input so if i write the input files what it says here in model once i will i will delete all of this yeah so i write the input if i write the input yeah, it will write all the packages that are stated on here on the name file okay and these are all the packages that that belongs to your model distribution okay if you understand me so these are the packages that uh, stay that are related to the well to the dispersion to the uh, transport to the observation so okay and then we can run the model with this on flow pipe we run the model okay and the model will run for every time step that you have stated here where here here this is the time step okay so the run the the model is running for one day every 300 seconds so it's every five minutes okay that's a thing long thank you to the fortran and then we are going to do uh, some representation we are going to make three representations first of first of all is a, a representation of flow direction vectors uh, over the concentrations and the end of the model okay this is uh, like a um, when if you plan to do it is very tedious because it works with the cvc and then you have to read the cvc and create some some magnitude for the quiver uh, well is there then you have to define like some parameter for the color bar because otherwise you will have the color distribution but then you don't have the magnitude associated for that and this comes from the from matplotlib uh, matplotlib is a is a very interesting library but it's um, um, it, it requires a while to get used to that and how it works okay then we create a plot okay and with this plot to run it this is the plot it's beautiful and then this is the first representation this is the representation at the end of the model of this is fresh water this is saline water okay and these are the vector arrows okay great then what we define is well, then we are going to create the second that is the head distribution at the end of the model or say at, at one day okay and this is a snapshot that because i want for you to to understand that there are values i mean that actually what we are plotting are values on the matrix uh -huh. this is a slicing in numpy okay we as well create some parameters for the color bar and here we are going to represent the plot the head distribution plot this is the head distribution plot where here on the on yellow these are the values that have zero 
and these are the value that has that decreases at because this is variable density I mean you can have the same head with less the same hydraulic head with less elevation okay because we are talking about fresh water and salt water yeah okay big, this is variable density okay I'm not going to go deep into what is how you can have this but is uh, you have you have to remember that the that the on the transition in between fresh water and salt water the hydraulic head is actually the sum of the heads of the salt water and the fresh water by the density okay uh, weighted by the density okay and then we create a interactive representation so we, we we read the the times of the then we create a, a function we create a function this function actually creates a plot and then with this beautiful with this beautiful um, with this beautiful command we create this representation okay so and then if you go with the arrow you can see how the fresh water this is blue are shifting or like a pushing out the salt water of the system no? okay the process is very very dynamic so in two hours you will have this while at the beginning was even less than this no it was full of salt water okay and then you can see how this is uh, how is the performance on time and so on okay well this is the tutorial it's not a very simple tutorial it's a complex tutorial i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as we have done uh, um, this tutorial is uh, maybe the next tutorial is a 3d version of this with pump where we pumping uh, not injecting but as well pumping out on the transient and this will be very very interesting okay I hope that the, the tutorial will give you some some light highlights of about what is saline saline intrusion modeling with see what okay and uh, hope to see you in comment tutorials my name is Saul Montoya I will drop my email uh, my email I will drop it because like maybe sometime you want to discuss uh, actually I cannot give you support on the level of telling you what what pro what uh, like I, I can show you the emails that I received okay there are some emails that we don't give support but for a discussion about uh, like a deep discussion about what is how to set up or how to discuss something uh, we can we can share because uh, for us uh, selling selling intrusion is as well as something challenging for us okay uh, okay so thank you for following us if you like our if you like our blog, give it a like, share it to your friends, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hope to see you in coming tutorials. Have a great day, and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.